But I decree and declare God is here. We, that's why I think he had me pray. We should not be weary. Amen. Many of us are like the thorns. Okay, so the in verse 18, he starts, Jesus starts to explain the parable to his disciple. Therefore, hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, then the wicked one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. This is he who received the seeds by the wayside. But he who received the seed on stony places, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in him, but endures for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he stumbles. Now he who receives seed among the thorns is he who hears the word and, and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becomes unfruitful. But he who received the seed on good ground is he who hears the word and understands it, who bears, who indeed bears fruit and produces seed a hundredfold, some 60, some 30. So amen. I think we are the ones in the body of Christ and especially with everything going on because we have root. We're not like the one who we see on a stony place. We uh, Stony to me, even seeing it like dry desert, like the enemy's dungeon, like that's when you know people are not possessed, but op not yeah possessed, but oppressed by God. He has a uh, by the enemy. I'm sorry, pos uh, not possessed, but oppressed by the enemy. The enemy has a stronghold in him. His demonic networks have come down. Amen. With the enemy, see what they do. What I saw in that demonic network dream is that they plan, they plot, they have a war room they have a thing just like how god in his heavenly throne and women they plan and they say you know i want to bless kimberly i want to bless john um uh, you know so the same way the enemy has that and they look he showed me in the dream they look at patterns of man so they say oh her great grandfather was a preacher a pastor okay it took seven or eight times but eventually he fell into deceitfulness or he fell into adultery so we we predict like the predict text and i know this is i know this is really deep but they're like just like the prediction text on your phone that's when it can like predict amen and um the, the try to predict the pattern so that's why you see things happening amen thank you lord jesus cycles amen happening in in certain families drug addiction um whoredom polygamy adultery you can't keep no man you can't keep no money you can't keep a woman um, and you try not like because you're a, a whole monger or anything like that, but it's just you do everything. You make money and it goes through your fingers. Amen. You know, you make money. Your bank account looks good. Then there's a homie pair. I mean, I could put, why are these things going on? And I break and bind it in the name of Jesus, the enemy's networks in our lives. Yes, by the Holy Ghost power invested in me by the sacrificial blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. To break up those um, influences of the demonic networks in our lives. Amen. That is keeping us, we, we, amen. Right, Dewalo, right, Lillian. We making money. We can't keep any, like when I was down south, they say, I ain't got nan penny. I ain't got nan dime. You know, we need to keep these things in our, in our, in our pocket when, when, when we make money. We need to be able to keep some things, you know, and it's slipping through our hands. Unexpected home repairs, this, that. Somebody bang your car, you know. And I realized the attack of the enemy. Every time I got a car and it was new, somebody would hit me. I was in the drive through and the, Oh, I didn't see your car. And they hit me right in the back. We, we, we rebuke those things of the enemy. Amen. Amen. Um, causing us not to be able to um, succeed and to thrive. Or we're, thri we're just surviving and we're not thri thriving. We come against that spirit of the demonic network. So they see. And after they see, they, get, uh, uh, they, they, they start to plot. And they start to plan. Okay, how can I get, you know. Um, they, hi, Roberto. How can I, how can I get... Um, Osita or Roberto to get sidetracked. Okay, so what what can I do to get them sidetracked and not to fulfill their dream and not to fulfill their destiny? So that's when the attacks. That's when the hitch, henchmen. That's when those ones. The the that's when the foot soldiers. Amen. Start coming down to the earth, taking your finances. That's when the spirit of fear. That's when. So a stronghold is a spirit. So the principality. Let's go. Like we all heard about Jezebel. I mentioned Sam Ballot. So the principality is the high place. Give the orders like the CEO of a company. You don't really, really ever see the CEO out unless he's doing a special event or she. They give it out to the people on the forefront, on the foot soldiers. So like how we are the foot soldiers for God 
the enemy has his foot soldiers. He comes through people. So the principality, let's say Jezebel, because everybody's familiar with Jezebel, likes to instill fear, symbolic criticism, doubt, he made, through doubt, doubt through criticism, making you doubt yourself. Um, the prince of Persia, amen, causes delay, amen. So the prince of Persia causes delay. So the principality, they're sitting there, so they're, 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 they're planning. How can in this demonic network, in this dark, ugly, gray dungeon with no moisture like a desert, they're, they're, they're plotting and planning. How can we come against the destiny? So you wonder why you go through attacks. You wonder why people, especially those of us who are prophetic, who are prophets, why we go through attacks. I notice prophets usually is something of their faith, their doubt, their sexuality is attached. Why is all of these things always attacked? Because the enemy in his network they, 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 they saw this from the beginning of time. So they, they planned and the next step, they say, how can we do this? That's when they devised the attack. So the actual attack is the last step. We'd be going after that person. I'm buying that spirit of Sarah because Sarah's always aggravating me, you know, when I'm doing a Facebook live. You know, it's not Sarah. It's not Jim. Amen. It is, um, it's not Sarah. It's not Jim. Amen. It is the spirit. We got to be able to war in the heavenlies. Amen. We got to be able to war in the heavenlies. Amen. Um, to come against these principalities. Amen. Yes, God is great. God is good, Roberto. We got to be able to come against. Thank you, Lord. We need to be able to come against these spirits in, in, the, in the high places, in the places like we were saying in Ephesians 6 and 12, against the high places. First of all, you have to be girded in truth because if you're not girded in truth, nothing is going to happen. Um, you know, hey. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. So, um, everything we have to be girded in truth in our in our bodies, in our soul, in our spirits, in our minds. We have to be girded in truth. Amen. We have to come against the plots of the enemy. We have to come against the plans of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We have to come. And I just decree and declare, and I just give you strength to do this. Um, I have to go, but I'll probably be back on for a part two. But um, you know, we decree and we declare this. Healing in Jesus name healing of our minds strengthen our minds We decree and declare healing that we are those in the body of Christ will be able to go forward and launch forward in Jesus name Amen and amen